I've got another art journal video for you and I'm just going to go ahead and get into showing you what I did for this spread. So to start out, I decided to do a little bit of painting. I brought out my watercolors and I just decided to do an abstract design. I didn't want to think too much about it, I just let the paint do what it wanted to do and I just used black watercolor paint. I knew I wanted it to be kind of textural, but other than that, I didn't really have a plan. I just kept painting until I was happy with how that looked. I used my heat gun to dry it really quickly, and then I went in with some white and gray acrylic paint to add some finer details. So in case you're wondering, I use a Moleskine notebook for my art journal, and the pages are pretty thin. They're not really meant for paint or any wet media, and I knew that when I painted on it, it would kind of wrinkle and warp the paper, but I didn't mind. But that's something to be aware of if you do decide to get a Molsky notebook. I know they do make a notebook with heavier paper, but this is just what I've been using. When I was done painting, I went in with a white gel pen and a black Sharpie pen and added some more fine details. So when I had finished doing all of that, I was actually really happy with how it looked. I thought it turned out really cool, but it wasn't exactly the look I was going for. I kind of wanted it softer and more subtle, so I mixed some white paint with water and brushed that over it just to give it a little hazy effect. So what inspired this art journal spread was a poem that I read by this Pakistani writer. Her name is Tareem, and as soon as I read this, I knew I had to feature it in my art journal. So it says, What does moonlight sound like? It sounds like the calming lullabies of my mother. It sounds like the comfortable silence between two lovers. It sounds like the chimes of a wind chime in summers. It sounds like all the loveliest things in the universe. I fell in love with this poem and all of Tareem's other writings, so if you want to go check her out, I will have her Instagram link below. I promise it's worth it. I really wanted to share her work and spread what she's doing as a fellow artist. Then I decided to do a little bit of collaging, so I just took some paper scraps and a flower cut out and some dried flowers and I played around with it until I got a layout that I liked. And anytime I use dried flowers I always get a lot of questions about it and I have talked about how to dry flowers in a video before but if you guys want a whole video about it I might do that in the future about how I dry flowers. I'm not an expert or anything but I really like to add these to my projects, so let me know if that's something you would be interested in. And the last thing I did was go in with a Pilot G Tech pen and just add a few little star and circle doodles. And I really like this pen because of how fine the tip is, and I'll have it linked down below if you're interested in checking that out. I hope this inspired you to go get your art journal out and spend a little bit of time being creative. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!